it softly spoken with no strings tying you to me so for this tutorial i'm going to be showing you how to make a romper so before i get started i already did the tutorial for the romper and then i realized that i didn't record um or i lost the clip of the beginning of how i started so i'm just going to quickly show you guys how i started the romper so um for my tutorial i use only one um what are they calling i use only one um side of the yarn i didn't double it but i'm just going to show you guys how i started so to get started you're going to measure around your waist and like slightly loosely round your waist so it's not going to be tight and i did a total of 120 chains for my romper so you're just going to make a chain of 120 or less depending on how fitted or how free you want your romper to be but my romper was really free around my waist so i just did a total of 120 chains you can do more or you can do less so i just did 120 chains and i joined my two the two ends together with a slip stitch now i'm just going to be going around with one double crochet now i use my stitch marker to mark off the middle on both sides of the waistband so i just marked off the middle now i'm just going to be going around with one double crochet till i get to where my stitch marker is so i'm going to be putting one double crochet in each stitch So I've gotten to where my first stitch marker is and I'm going to be putting three double crochet in the stitch where my stitch marker is. So I'm just going to go in with three double crochet. One, two, and three. So I'm just going to remove my stitch marker so it doesn't confuse me or get in the way. Now I'm going to continue with one double crochet till I get to this other end where my stitch marker is. So I'm just going to continue with one double crochet in each stitch. I've come to the other stitch where my stitch marker is and I'm just going to go in with three double crochet. So I'm going to remove the stitch marker. Now I'm going to put three double crochet in that stitch where my stitch marker was. One, two, and three. Now I'm just going to continue with one double crochet till I get to the end. So I'm just putting in one double crochet in the rest of the stitches. So now I've come to this end, I'm just going to slip stitch. For the second row, I'm going to go around with one double crochet till I get to this um, stitch with the three double crochet. So I'm just going to go in with one double crochet in each stitch So if you want your um, pants to go, um, to be wide, like really wide, you can 
puts her double crochet on both side of the romper or the shirts just to make your because of your hips but because I did a total of because the chain I did for my waistband is a bit really wide I'm not going to do my decrease on both sides of the shirt so you can still do your decrease on both um sorry on both sides of the shirts depending on how wide your hips are or how small they are so it just depends on you but I'm not going to be going in with my decrease on both sides of the shirts So I've come to where we did our three double crochet. I'm just going to go in with another three double crochet in the middle of those three double crochet stitch. So this is the middle of the stitch and I'm just going to go in with three double crochet in the middle of the three double crochet stitch we did in the previous row. now i'm just going to continue with one double crochet in each stitch till i get to the other side where we did our three double crochet so i'm just going in with one double crochet in each stitch I come to this other end where i did three double crochet and i'm just going to do three double crochet in the middle of the three double crochet stitch so one two and three now i'm just going to continue with one double crochet in the rest of the stitches Come to the end of this row and I'm just going to slip stitch for the third row I'm going to be repeating the second row so I'm going to be going around with one double crochet till I get to this middle stitch where we did our three double crochet and I'm going to be putting three double crochet in the middle of the stitch so you're going to do this till you get the amount of rows you want for your um from part to be high waisted and you're going to know how many rows I did for my romper because like I said I already did the tutorial for this I just had to um be I just had to film the beginning part since I lost the clip so i'm just going to attach this to the rest of the tutorial and then you guys are going to see how many rows i did for my romper so i'm just going in with one double crochet till i get to the middle stitch where i did three double crochet
so i've come to the middle stitch where i did my three double crochet and i'm going to go in with another three double crochet in the middle of the three double crochet stitch so this is what it looks like we just did three double crochet and this is what you're going to be doing for the rest of the row so i'm just going to continue with one double crochet in each stitch till i get to where i did my three double crochet stitch and i'm going to go in with three double crochet stitch um, stitches in the middle of the three double crochet stitch so you're just going to continue with one double crochet in each stitch and whenever you get to the middle where you did your three double crochet stitch you're going to go in with another three double crochet stitch and you're going to do this till you get the length you want your romper to be so i'm going to you guys are going to know how many rows i did when i'm done I did a total of 24 rows with our three double crochet in the middle and in the back too so now I'm going to I already attach my yarn to the middle of the three double crochet stitch and I'm just going to make a chain of 10 1 2 3 4 5 six seven eight nine ten and i'm going to attach the chain to the middle of the other side where we did our three double crochet i'm just going to join it with the slip stitch now i'm going to be going around one leg with a double crochet so i'm going to start with a chain I'm just going to be putting one double crochet in the stitch. softly spoken with no strings tying you to me i'm happy in your company with no emotion because my love deserves to be free i never want to look at a house in the garden i never want to lock you down i know you're not mine it's just my turn but we can still have fun for now and i'm going to continue with one double crochet along the um stitch of the leg now that we are done with the chain so i'm just putting one double crochet in each stitch so i've come to the end of this row i'm just going to finish it up and slip stitch into this now for the next row, I'm going to chain one and I'm going to continue with one double crochet around the stitches. So I'm going to do this for a few more rows till I get the length I want the leg of my shirts to be. I might do it for like three to five rows i don't know yet but when i'm done i'll let you guys know how many rows i did for the shirts and we're going to be doing the same thing for the other part of the leg oh yeah you're just going to be going around with one um double crochet in each stitch and when you get to this end you're going to slip stitch and chain one and continue with one double crochet in each stitch for the shots the legs i did five rows of double crochet so i did five rows for this part and five rows for this part now we are going to be moving on to the upper part of the romper so i already tied my yarn to one end and i'm just going to be going around with one double crochet in each stitch so i'm going to chain one and i'm going to be putting one double crochet in each stitch low 
key, keep it softly spoken, with no strings tying you to me. I'm happy in your company with no emotion, 'cause my love deserves to be free. I never wanna look at a house in the garden. I never wanna lock you down. I know you're not mine. It's just my turn, but we can still have fun for now. Told me you don't really do commitment. Trust me, consider your message received. When you said you couldn't take us too seriously, I must admit I was relieved. 'Cause I never wanna play happy families with you, but I like having you around. I'm fully aware this is a flash in the pan, but we can still have fun for now. So guys, I did four rows of double crochet, and you can make your waist longer or shorter, depending on how um high waisted or how um low waisted you want the waist to be. But I just did four rows, and I used my stitch marker to mark the two ends because the front panel is separated from the back panel. I also put my stitch marker in the middle because the two front panels are separated. So now. I'm just going to chain one. Sorry. I'm just going to chain one and turn over. And I'm going to be putting one double crochet in each stitch. Softly spoken, with no strings tying you to me. I'm happy in your company with no emotion, 'cause my love deserves to be free. So I'm just going to put one double crochet in each stitch till I get to the last two stitches. Now I've gotten to the last two stitches, so I'm going to be doing my decrease. So I'm going to yarn over and pull my hook into the next stitch. Yarn over and pull through. I have three left. Yarn over. And pull three to loose. I have to left. I'm going to yarn over and go into the next stitch. Yarn over and pull through. I have four left. Yarn over and pull through the first two. I have three. Yarn over and pull through. I have two. And yarn over and pull through. I'm going to chain one and turn over. And I'm going to be doing a decrease. So I'm going to put my hook into the first stitch. Yarn over and pull. Sorry, I'm going to put my hook into the next stitch. Yarn over and pull through. I have three left. Yarn over and pull through two. I have two left. Yarn over and pull my hook into the next stitch. Yarn over and pull through. I have four left. Yarn over and pull through the first two. I have three left. Yarn over and pull through. And yarn over and pull through. So we are going to be decreasing in the front panel, but when we get to this end, we won't, we won't be doing any decrease in this area, just in the middle. So now I'm going to continue with one double crochet in the rest of the stitches. So now I've gotten to this end. I'm going to chain three. Sorry, I'm going to chain one. Turn over. And I'm going to put one double crochet in the first stitch and continue with one double crochet in the rest of the stitches till I get to where we did our decrease and I'm going to be doing my decrease in the last two stitches. So I'm just putting one double crochet in each stitch. Low key, 
key, keep it softly spoken, with no strings tying you to me. I'm happy in your company with no emotion, 'cause my love deserves to be free. I never wanna look at a house in the garden. I never wanna lock you down. I know you're not mine. It's just my turn, but we can still have fun for now. Told me you don't really do commitment. Trust me, consider your message received. When you said you couldn't take us too seriously, I must admit I was relieved. 'Cause I never wanna play happy families with you, but I like having you around. I'm fully aware this is a flash in the pan, but we can still have fun for now. So much attention, and when you're moving in another direction, don't worry, I get it. I meant what I said when I said it, lady. I never wanna look at a house in the garden. I never wanna lock you down. I know you. Listen to the last two stitches, and I'm going to be doing my decrease. This is what um, the angle is looking like. Now I'm going to chain three, turn over, and continue with one double crochet. Sorry, I'm going to chain three. Yeah, turn over, and I'm going to do my decrease. Now I'm just going to continue with one double crochet in the rest of the stitches till I get to the end. So that's the pattern we're going to be following. I'm going to be doing my decrease when I come to the middle and when I get to this end I'm not going to be doing any decrease. I'm just going to be chaining three and continue with one double crochet and a decrease, chain three, a decrease and continue. So I'm just going to do this until it's long enough to cover my bust area and I'll let you guys know what to do next. So guys, I'm done with the front panel and I did a total of 30 rows. So I did 25 rows of decrease and 5 rows of no decrease. And I did the same for the other part, um, 25 rows of decrease and five rows of just normal double crochet with no decrease or increase now I'm going to be working on the back panel so for the back panel I already tied my yarn to one end and yeah I already tied my yarn sorry guys so for the back panel, sorry, I started before I realized I wasn't um, videoing. So I tied my yarn to one part of, I just left one stitch in the middle between the front and back panel and same here, one stitch in the middle. And I tied my yarn to one end, I went around with one double crochet. So after I went around with one double crochet, you're just going to chain three, one, two, and you're going to turn over and continue with one double crochet in the rest of the stitches till you get to this end till you get to this end and then you're going to chain three and continue with one double crochet so I'm just going to be putting one double crochet in each stitch softly spoken with no strings tying you to me i'm happy in your company with no emotion cause my love deserves to be free i never want to look at a house in the garden i never want to lock you down 
I know you're not mine, it's just my turn But we can still have fun for now So guys, this is what the back panel looks like And I did a total of 25 rows of double crochet with no decrease And 5 rows of um, double crochet for the panel So I just marked um, 10 stitches away from the end and 10 stitches away from the end and did one double crochet for five rows and the same thing is what i did for this area um if you count the stitches it give you 10 and i just um one minute and then i just joined the two ends together with a double crochet sorry with a single crochet and that's it for the um top so you can go around with one single crochet to clean the ends but I'm not going to be going around with one um, single crochet because I like the romper the way it is. I'm just going to be cutting the stray yarns and that's this for the um, romper so I'm just going to wait and show you guys what it looks like. 